Hey guys, Sturge here. Today I'm going to be telling you why you should trophy push as a low town hall level. And the answer to that is because of the blacksmith, which was originally added to the game, which allows you to upgrade your hero abilities to a higher level to make them even more powerful, which you need ores to upgrade your hero abilities. And to get ores, you can get them from the star bonus, which you get every single day. So pushing up higher in the leagues will obviously get you more ores. Here's a list of the distribution for ores from Bronze 3 all the way up to Legend League. And obviously the more you get and the higher league you go, you obviously get more ores from your star bonus. Here is the minimum trophies I've recommend going to at Tunnel 8 to Tunnel 11, and you can obviously go higher than this. You can push all the way up to Legend League for every single one of these town halls. It just will get harder to find bases to attack, which will take longer to get your star bonus each day. And as you're pushing up in the leagues, we have the Cookie Rumble event starting here in about a day, which may increase the time to find the correct base to attack because everyone's online and trying to get the reward and stuff so it might take you longer to find a base but once that event ends it should go back to normal and you can get up to the higher leagues and speaking of the cookie rumble event inside of the trader there will be a new equipment to unlock during the event which is called the giant gauntlet and that is for the barbarian king and once you activate his ability he'll become a giant which will do splash damage to buildings 2.5 tiles away from each other and will last for the duration of the active ability i recommend saving your ores for when you unlock this new equipment because it does seem pretty overpowered and may be pretty good at the low town halls make sure to save your ores for that new equipment and let me show off some pushing armies you can use to get up to those leagues this one here for tunnel 8 is the golem valkyrie pekka attack strategy i'll be using the rage vial and the earthquake boots and i'll be attacking this tunnel 9 here starting towards the bottom left with the earthquake spells right on top of this expo using all four of them to open up all of those walls there to allow for our troops to head directly towards that town hall we'll then drop a wide spread of our golem on both corners with the packet in the middle a widespread of the wizards and then using two wall breakers where you drop the golems and the pekka to open the compartments where the, you can then drop the valkyries the king and the clan castle this one here i dropped them towards the bottom because there was a uh, hole over there and then we can drop the heel right on top of the town hall once the troops get closer to the core of the base to get everything back up to full as they take down the town hall for that first star we have the earthquake boots on the king which you will use here pretty soon he is still at full health so his ability will be kind of a waste but as long as you get through the walls as i use the race spell there to get the valkyries moving through these defenses we have a good amount of wall distance so we can drop the earthquake spell from the king's ability to open up a wide portion of the base towards the top here as we drop the cleanup troops towards the top of the base and get the cleanup going to get the three star on this Town Hall 9 for a plus 32 trophies for this one here. Not too bad. Moving on to the Town Hall 9 army, we're using the Golem Valky Pekka attack strategy once again, and I'll be using the Giant Arrow on the Queen and keeping the same equipment on the King as the Town Hall 8 army. We're gonna be attacking this Town Hall 10 here, starting off at the very top with the Golem to distract the defenses, and then dropping Pekka on both sides of him there, a wide spread of the Wizards, and then dropping two Wall Breakers where you drop the Pekkas and the king to open up a bunch of the compartments. We'll then drop the heroes at the top of the base with the clan castle and our Valkyries to head towards the town hall where we'll drop a jump to get into that compartment. And we have some multi inferno towers, so I do want to freeze them and also heal through the town hall to make sure that everything stays at full health. We have two more freezes to use on the multi infernos. We get the town hall down for the first star. We have the earthquake boots ready to use on the king here. We'll drop the poison on the enemy king and use the ability for the king to break open all those expos to allow for us to take them out but unfortunately the, uh, the valkyries and the king went up towards the top because they did break open the wall into that compartment i also used the queen's ability on the left side which dropped the giant arrow but we'll get the 50 percent for that second star if we can drop the rest of the cleanup here on the right side to get the second star finishing off the raid for the two star for a plus 22 against this tunnel 10. on to the tunnel 10 army which is the the zap dragons and just like the last one i'll be using the giant arrow on the queen but i'll be switching the earthquake boots for the vamp stash for the king because you do unlock that at tunnel 10 
We're going to be starting off with the Queen on the right side here on this Town Hall 11, dropping it on the Spell Factory and activating the ability to go across the entire base and damaging the two air defenses that we can take down with our four Lightning Spells here, which we will see pretty soon here as we drop the King at the top with the Baby Dragon and walk breaking into this compartment to allow for us to get a little bit more percentage so we guarantee that second star from this attack here. We drop the two Lightning Spells on both of the air defenses that we damaged from the Queen ability we head over to the left side we have some balloons at the top which won't be too much of a big deal they are air so we, we are also using air so it won't be a big deal to attack from the bottom we don't have to worry about those balloons at the top so we drop a widespread of our dragons down here with the balloons towards the middle I rage and also try to freeze the air defense and the eagle I miss the eagle which is fine for now we drop the blimp to head all the way up towards that town hall and I make sure to freeze the air sweeper because I would have pushed the air our blimp back towards uh, the bottom of the base so we make sure to rage through the core freezing the inferno tower and getting the tunnel down for that second star as we have the first star from the 50 percent and now we're going to see if we can get closer to that three star we still have those balloons working on the right side which are just floating there doing absolutely nothing we have an expo and an air defense still up the, towards the top of the base and i think i'm going to try to guide the balloons up towards the top we are quickly losing our dragons from the expo and air defense up there so i don't really think we're going to get these three star against this tunnel 11 as a tunnel 10. Uh, we're going to try to continue on dropping the wizards but yeah we're just losing our dragons so this won't be a three star we'll get it a 90 percent two star on this one here for a plus 20 trophies against this tunnel 11. And on to the Town Hall 11 army, we're going to be using the Icy Witch Bat attack strategy. We have the Rage Den, which is unlocked at Town Hall 11, so we'll be using that on the Warden, keeping the default ability for the Queen, and using the Earthquake Boots on the King with the Rage Vial there. We're going to start off at the top left against this Town Hall 12, drop it in two Ice Golems, two Witches, and two Wizards, and then we'll drop it the same thing on the other side of the base. We're going from the top of the base, so make sure to create the funnel on both sides by by doing exactly this here and the very top which up the rest of the ice golems the log launcher the rest of the witches and then all three heroes at the very top as you can see we have the rage vial or the rage gem from the warden which allows for our troops to deal about i think it's about 20 percent at level one extra damage to buildings here so we're going to head down towards the eagle as we have the log launcher breaking all of those walls the queen is going around the outside of the base which might be a little bit of an issue towards the core of the base here we still have a rage we're going to poison the enemy queen on the top left of the base we still have our queen down towards the bottom which does get locked on to the inferno so i do try to use the warden ability to keep the queen alive but it, she does get out of range of that so we're gonna have to freeze that inferno we get the tunnel down for that first star and also get the second star from the 50 percent we have two dragons right on top of where the town hall was and the queen gets back into rage we still have our ability to use and we drop the bat spells on the left as you can see at the bottom we use the uh, king's ability with that earthquake spell or the earthquake boots to open up towards all of those expos we're gonna get ready with our freezes on top of the wizard tower to keep our bats alive through the splash damage defenses making making sure to freeze on top of splash damage defenses and that was the last one so we don't have to really worry about the rest of the defenses on this base as they are all ground targeting defenses so we'll easily get this three star to finish off the day against this town hall 12 as a town hall 11 which is a very easy pushing strategy to get you up to to a Titan League, which is what I recommended at the beginning of the video. So getting this three star here for the plus 32 trophies, not too bad. If you wanna see the Town 11 army more in action, check out the video I have linked on the screen now. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.